Good morning, it's Saturday and it's finally sunshine. All the rain has gone away. Everyone's outside enjoying their day. Eli had his 11th birthday yesterday, which was awesome. Isabel, what? Are you playing in the mud? No. With your rabbit? Rabbit sitting there. What's um, the rabbit's name? Bingo. Bingo! What's up, Bingo? Huh? Yeah, I'm saying, what's up, Bingo? That is Isabel's pet rabbit. Finally, everything is getting some sunshine. My broccoli is finally. I don't know if I'm gonna get enough. There's enough time before the heat shows up. Before my broccoli shows up, I hope it doesn't just bolt. Same thing with my beets. Uh, I got a few kale still alive that survived Hannah. But the spinach is doing great. So is my little bit of lettuce. That's my leek. My leek is growing from, I cut off the bottom of a leek that I was using and I put the root in the ground and it's starting to grow. Hopefully the beets make it in time. My blueberries are doing great. Uh, this is thornless raspberries. I have blackberries in my backyard. And this is a cutting from a thornless raspberry. Hopefully, hopefully it grows. Don't know. I put uh, pine needle mulch down and start progress like I've done with my blueberries. Um, I never finished all the way down because I kind of ran out of grass and my lawnmower, my push mower kind of uh, pooped out on me. So I gotta figure out what, why it doesn't work anymore. Another one right here. Uh, I planted them um, Tuesday. Yeah, I think I put them in the ground on Tuesday, so. They should have had plenty of water and hopefully uh, I see a new shoot coming out. So you, I won't get any raspberries from this plant this year. Um, uh, so whatever grows this year will fruit next year. I also got another kind I'll show you right now. I also got uh, the golden raspberries, yellow or whatever yellow raspberries. I got that one in right here, same thing, pine needle mulch. Uh, those are wild raspberries and they are, they've got thorns. I had a huge blackberry patch here, which I did not like. Oh, it was wild blackberry and it had a lot of thorns and it was just not very fun to have here. It, uh, and, you know thorns having thorns really kind of stinks and you could tell that they are very hard to kill <laughs> whole bunch of them are already popping out out of the ground even though I pull them out uh, whatever root is root is left in the ground they will produce a new new vine so I gotta constantly uh, pull, pull them out but yeah hopefully these grow uh, looking really looking forward forward to them and they're supposed to be thornless too, so this one's kind of growing in a funky direction, but hopefully they survive. And the same thing with those. I won't see any fruit from it this year, but whatever grows this year will fruit next year. So this is the only strawberry left here that I, I planted strawberries here last summer, end of last summer. This is the only one that's left. The rest of them I plucked out and planted next to the uh, my blueberries. I'm hoping this will grow and make more plants and I will just keep on harvesting from this one. These are forever bearing strawberries and that's the ones I really like. So I have strawberries all, all year long and that's what I got with the other uh, raspberries that I planted there, forever bearing. Hopefully it works out. <laughs> Here comes Mr. <laughs> I've been wanting to uh, show you guys that so right there is a sunflower seed popping up. They're starting to grow. Uh, I can't. I, I, I managed to find that one, but I'm pretty sure if that one's popping up, there's probably a lot more popping up out of the ground that I just can't see because of all the grass. Oh, yeah. I marked another one that I found, and there, there's that one right there. Boop, boop. So yeah, so far I have two growing. <laughs> Let's see. Is there any more? Oh look, right there. 
I thought I left this gap open so I could drive my lawnmower in here. I might have to pull that one. Or hopefully there's a gap big enough where I could drive my lawnmower through. I didn't really plan that out very well. I need to be able to get in here without running over my sunflowers. Maybe there one won't grow and there'll be a big enough gap for me to get in there. These are my grapes. They're all starting to grow in also. Garlic's doing fantastic. And everything, oh look, something ate my onions. What the heck? What came in and chopped my onions down? And something looks like it's dug up right there. Bok choy is uh, doing all right. They survived the thinning. So did, so did my radishes, um, red radishes. No, the beets. So did my beets over here. Something keeps digging my garden. I don't know what that is. It's probably a raccoon. But my walking Egyptian onions are doing well. I planted squash. There's yellow and zucchini squash here. There's zucchini and yellow squash. I'm not sure which one's which. A friend of mine gave it to me, and but he didn't know which one was which either. So hopefully I have a couple of them. I'll be fine by me too. Look, there's another one. I just saw another one right there. But See, it's, a little yellow. It doesn't look a little. It doesn't look healthy. Oh well, but they're growing. Oh, my chickens are doing great. Uh, I haven't lost any more. None of them are doing that breathing thing anymore. So I think combination of natural remedies and the vet RX nipped whatever it was. Brooder pneumonia. I think that's what I'm assuming. That's what it was. I think I nipped them in the nipped it in the butt. Got rid of it. Yeah, I turned it off because it's gonna be a nice hot day today. <laughs> they are doing fantastic. I turned the light off so because it's gonna be 70 degrees today and it gets pretty warm in here. Well, I put new, I put fresh wood chips down. I don't care. It's not my fault they poop. But yeah, they're starting to feather out, as you can tell. Wine dots are <laughs> slowly growing. I wonder what that's gonna be, our special chicken that came with the Cornish crosses. I, I also thought it was turkey for a second. It looked like it's gonna be a black chicken, but now it's, it's turning all white. Maybe it's gonna be a white black chicken. Yeah, where's that super yellow one? Uh, it disappeared, didn't it? it just, I think it's way over there, like next to that other odd-looking one. Yeah, it, yeah. Looks, it looks like it's just going to be a regular Cornish cross, huh? I have no yeah, idea. these are going to be some ugly... That's the only thing about Cornish crosses, they're just the ugliest chicken in the world. No. So I'm going to add this piece right here so I can keep the lid open. That gives them shade back there, shade underneath, but a strip of sunshine. As long as we have the sun, I'm gonna let, let them have uh, sunlight because sunlight will do them real good. And lots and lots of fresh air. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that. They shouldn't be able to jump out of that yet. Uh, like I said, they already passed their athletic prime. They, they won't be able to get, they won't be able to jump this high, I hope. All right, so today I got a... What the heck? What? I don't know that could pop open. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since the chickens are gonna be ready to be on grass in about two weeks, so I've got the lumber to build another chicken tractor, which hopefully I can get to, done today. Can you use this for my pot? I'm planting an acorn and I want the water to go. An acorn? An acorn. Okay. Can I use it so yeah. like when I pour the water could I've, just I've get got, in here? I've got tons of them, go ahead. Yeah, uh, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to build the chicken tractor today. Or get like 60% of it done, just framed up. 
we framed up, we'll be good. So, I've already done a video of uh, a couple of videos of me building this, so I'm not gonna film every step. So, I'm just gonna put it on time lapse and hopefully, you guys get it. <laughs> Okay, it's going a little slow, uh, but I'm dr I'm trying to be very particular this time. Uh, I mean, I've already got the blueprint in my head, so I just got to make sure I do it right this time because I only have a limited amount of uh, supplies, unlike last time, which I just had not like a whole lot, but a lot more than I do now. So, so yeah, I'm slowly cutting out the notches for the sides, and I will slowly I'm gonna slowly build this. <laughs> So I do it right properly the very first time, yeah. As last time I was just kind of making it up as I go. This time I kind of understand now what I need to do so. It's a little bit easier. Got the two sides built. I was really hoping to be further along at this point, but... Oh well. Okay, as you can see it's pitch black out there. So I finished framing it up. Uh, of course, there's still a lot more to do. The fact that I got here in the first day, it's the first day of the build, it's... I'm doing good. And tomorrow, I could, I, most likely I'll finish it up tomorrow. I mean, I think the first time I tried to build this, it took me two or maybe three days before I got even to this, this part. Of course, I got to frame out the door and cut the door section out, but I just made... I just wanted to get to the point where I'm done framing it and... That's like, this is like the most difficult part. After that, it's just bending the conduit and and getting the wires, the chicken wire on. But yeah, this is uh, yeah, it's, that's that's a good thing. It'd be a good stopping point. I know I didn't show anything, but besides the time lapse. But like I said, I've already made a video of me making this, and there's too many other videos out there in the YouTube world of making the chicken tractor. So. If you need to learn how to make a chicken tractor, I'm pretty sure you can find one out there. But like I said, I already made one video. I don't need to make another. All right, so I'm gonna call it quits here. So my name is Sang. This is Growing Little Country Homestead. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.